Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today Tunbridge Angels are at home to Bath City in the National League South. So what are your thoughts on today's game? Yeah, it's another first, isn't it? First game back at home um, with spectators for a competitive game. Um, and then that sort of completes the set and that's going to be special. I know there are some people who haven't actually been here for, for 18 months, so that'll be really important. Um, and after last week, well, who knows what's going to happen? Um, after beaten 5-1 by Ebsleep, very good Ebsleep side last week, but what it's going to be like today, I don't, I don't really know. But um, that's the intrigue of football, I suppose. We look forward to the game. Win or lose, we just enjoy it. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to finally see a competitive game at Longmead since the 15th of February 2020, which was that one-all draw against Hungerford. Um, so very, very long time ago. It's going to be so good to be, be back there. Um, yeah, I hope, hopefully we win. I mean, we lost 5-1 to Ebbsfleet, which, I mean, it isn't that bad considering Ebbsfleet are just really good. Uh, Bath beat Billericay 3-0 uh, last Saturday. What is your prediction? Yeah, it's hard to say, isn't it? Um... Oh, I don't, I, don't, I don't like really predicting against um, Tunbridge. And I think we want a goal today, don't we? We want a goal. Yeah. We, want, we want to get that, that feeling of celebrating a competitive goal together, which we haven't had for so long. So we want that. Um, let's say one will draw. I think it'll be two one to Tunbridge. I think I think we'll actually score first. Actually, uh, just hopefully the atmosphere and all that will be very good today. I'll see you at Longmead. on the first half? Uh, I think we're doing better than last week. Um, but we've given the ball away too much. Um, I'm not sure we've had a shot on target yet. We've had quite a few on target. So there's been some good work. Um, Smith Joseph looks mm. good on the left. Paul of Tardy looks quite lively up front. Um, but, so yeah, the ball possession um, um, has been improved a little bit. But 
Have you turned it? Full time, it finished Tunbridge Angels nil, Bath City one. What were your thoughts? Oh, it was okay. Um, we played, um, played a ride, I think. Um, yeah, another day we might have got something from that game. Um, the, the great thing with um, being a supporter of um, Team Mac Tunbridge is that when you win, it's a superb day, and when you don't win, it's just a good day, and it's still a good day. So, um, just lovely to, to be back behind the goal, hearing all the singing again, very loud, I've forgotten how loud that was. But, um, you know, that was great to get that atmosphere again. So, it feels all, football feels all back to normal again now, yeah. so, which, is, which, is, which is great. Yeah, I thought that would make quite well, um, especially in the second half. Um, I feel um, like our midfield and, and wingers are, are very like um, very frightening, and um, but we haven't got a striker to get on the end of things. All we need is a 20-goal season striker or someone like like Elder or whoever, someone who scores loads of goals. Because I mean, Ricky Modest, I think, is the next Nick Wheeler. He's, he's He's really good and good, good crosses in. Same with Smith Joseph, very pacey. Um, again, I, I think it was sort of a well, they scored from the counter, I think, so that was a bit of a annoying. Um, but yeah, some good signs there, and you know, it's only second game in, so we shouldn't get too worried. Plus, uh, our first two games against really hard teams, um, but uh, well, there's no such thing as an easy game, you see, but them two especially should be uh, right up there. Um, so, better luck next week. Um, hopefully, we can get something at um, Hungerford. So, um, so yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.